What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my unboxing of my new Nintendo Switch wired controller. Now I just want to say one thing, I am an epic Sonic fan, but here's the thing, the first Sonic item I ever bought was an Amiibo. I'm not even making it up, literally. Growing up, I'm a big Sonic fan and the only Sonic toy, I guess you could say, I got was an amiibo. So I figured it's about time for me to start building my Sonic collection up. So you can pretty much get this is gonna be Sonic related. Let's get into it, shall we? Ah, uh, be careful I don't want to damage the box. And of course this is from Amazon if you haven't already guessed. And oh Looks like there's a few other things. Um, yeah, those are not important. But this is, this is, just looking at it, it looks pretty cool. Granted, it is a wired controller, as you can clearly see from this image right here. Oh, and this has got a glass on it. And it's showing you different color ones. You got Luigi, Mario, and Link. Wait, is that black with gold? Ugh, disgusting. And okay, let's see. Do we need to? Uh, no, we do not need to use the. Uh, at least I don't think we need to use the um box cutter. I want to try to keep this box intact. Hmm. Uh, okay, I think what I need to do is, there we go, and just, oh, there's tapes on the both sides, so I just have to bring this out a little bit, whoop, and whoop, always pull the away from you, and open that up, this, and this, and like so yeah it is uh, instruction manual uh, okay oh and here's the uh, because I don't know if you know this but you can literally remove these things and put in the, the uh, regular thing and my neighbor's dog decided to bark during my unboxing. Hopefully... Okay, I gotta try to figure out how I... Okay, I, um... How do I put this back? Oh, there we go. So, let me just plug this into the uh, switch and we'll see how good this baby does. Catch you guys then. So here we are at the home screen and we can see I'm using the D-pad now I'm using the joystick and it seems to have no problem controlling that. Let's go down to controls and I really don't know where I'm going. I wish I could say I do know but I'm not entirely sure. Ah, here we go, joystick controls. We'll go with this one. Okay, pretty good controls. Yeah, it definitely recognizes it perfectly. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Okay, there is a slight dead zone. Right now, I'm moving the controller slowly to the right. Okay, now it's triggering it. But in game, that's very small. Very small, and I doubt you would notice it in actual gameplay. Let's go back and try the C stick now. Ooh. Okay, it looks like the C stick has less of a dead zone. Even lesser than the first stick. 
Now let's check out. Um, now let's just go into a game and see how it does. Since I already have Mario Odyssey in here, which is good because it also tells us if we actually have motion control in here too. So we'll just head into here. And I just have to tell you that I actually plugged this in and I noticed on my controller the little home button actually lighting up. I'll probably take a snapshot of that and put it up screen so you can see. So it basically tells you that it's actually getting power. I mean, I didn't even need to add that little feature into this controller that lights Super up the little home Mario button, Odyssey! but they did. That's pretty cool. Okay, we're just going to hit resume and we're going to see it actually has the click button so you can actually click. Skip that. And okay, well, of course. All right. Okay, I'm waggling the controller and it doesn't seem to do anything, so it doesn't have motion controls. So that would not work. Okay, it seems to be responding pretty good. Also, I have noticed it has no rumbo in it. So, yeah, that would be a problem for pro games that actually requires you to basically have Wumbo. But it's still fun. Okay, you can still spin, ground pound, and you can use the other buttons to reposition the camera. So... Okay, and that was the Y X button, and that's the Y button. So I don't think you can. Okay, so you can do that. It just takes a little more effort to make Cappy spin around you. So. It seems like this controller is pretty good. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial of this controller. Because it's right now it seems to be pretty responsive. I mean I'm I'm liking it. It's really good. So yeah. As a Sonic fan and a GameCube controller fan, I say yeah, this controller is pretty awesome. Granted, it doesn't have motion controls, and I highly doubt it would have amiibo support. So, yeah. But now another question brings to mind. Can I use this on the PC? Let's check that out, shall we? Okay, sadly, it did not work on the PC. Which is a little sad, but it's still a good controller. I mean, and the fact that the little home button actually lights up when it's plugged in, that's pretty cool. But, well, actually, I guess I could say it doesn't it exactly not work on my PC. I mean, here's the thing. One thing button actually did work on the PC. The capture button. I'm not kidding. Literally, I press the capture button, boom, snapshot. That's it. Nothing more. That's the only thing that actually works on this controller when you have it plugged to the PC. And probably it would not work on the PS4 or the PlayStation 3 or any other console that requires USB. So... Yeah, so you're pretty much probably just stuck with it with the, for the Nintendo Switch. But that's not a bad deal. I mean, it's still a good controller. I love the design of it. I love the color. I love the little Sonic icon in the middle of it. The fact that it doesn't have motion controls or Amiibo support does not bother me. Because, honestly, the only two games I can think of needing to use 
Amiibo support is Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey. I really can't think of any other games like uh, New Super Lucky's Tale for one that I would require um, motion controls. Maybe Paper Mario the Origami King, so yeah, I would not be able to use this controller with that unless I could turn motion controls off. Wait, can I? I don't know. I'm not going to bother to see in this video. So I hope you like this little review and test of the Sonic the Hedgehog game controller GameCube controller if you did make sure to drop it a like don't forget to share this video with your friends and until the next unboxing this is Shadowfin A2 signing off